UConn does it again, clinching back-to-back -back March Madness victories last night after taking down Purdue. It's the first time a men's team has won two years in a row in 17 years. And joining me now to talk more about this big win is center for the UConn Huskies, Donovan Klingon. Hey, good morning, Donovan. Congratulations. Thanks for making time. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Listen, what a game. First of all, huge congrats to you and all of your teammates. How are you feeling this morning? Good. You know, a little tired. It's a little early here, but, you know, I'm feeling good and, you know, happy we were able to come out with the win. And I want to talk about how you got there. Walk me through the last few seconds on the clock, the moment you knew you were going to win this one. What was going through your head? Yeah, you know, just realizing that we made history, you know, going back to back, it's a hard thing to do. It's a special thing to do. So, you know, just to be able to be a part of history and do something special at such a historic program, you know, it meant a lot. It doesn't feel real, um, you know, and it's, it's a special thing to do, man. I'm just proud of this team. And of course, there were challenging moments, Donovan. Talk to me a bit about how you guys got through that as a team. Yeah, you know, throughout the game, you know, beginning of the you know, first half, you know, Zach Eady was, you know, dominating, dominating me in the post and, you know, scoring. And we weren't really, you know, scoring on the offensive end. But, you know, we really just stuck together. We just kept, you know, thriving as a team, sticking together as a team. And, you know, on the offensive end, it started to fall, you know, fall together. And, you know, we really, you know, took off in that second half. Mm. What an amazing moment. You know, seeing those pictures, I think, brings up a lot of emotions for folks who are watching and so excited for you all. Uh, how did you celebrate last night? What do you plan for later this week? Yeah, you know, just hanging out with the guys. Um, you know, it's just, just a, you know, such a special moment. Um, you know, hopefully get back to stores. You know, we got a long flight back, back to Connecticut tomorrow. But, um, you know, I'm just excited to, you know, get back and celebrate with the fans, celebrate with, you know, everyone that supported us throughout the whole season. And, you know, I'm just looking forward to, you know, this next week. Yeah, and I'm sure your family and friends back home are so excited and proud of you. Um, did you get any fun messages right after the win? Yeah, um, you know, I got a couple of cool messages. You know, my family was there in attendance, so that was nice to see. Um, you know, and a couple, you know, close friends and, you know, old UConn players that messaged me, and, you know, that just, you know, means a lot to me. And you're also a projected top 10 pick in the NBA draft. We want to mention that. So do you know what's next for you yet? Uh, it's hard to say right now. Um, you know, I'm really just trying to celebrate this, you know, huge, huge accomplishment and victory, you know, with my team and the staff and this program. You know, I love UConn. I love the school. And, you know, it, whenever the day comes, it's going to be hard. It's going to be hard to say bye to say bye to stores. Well, congratulations on your win. And thank you for taking time this morning to chat with us. I know you're tired. Hopefully you got a chance today to catch up on some rest. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Thanks, Donovan.